previous clip it is 4 33 in the morning um we have not picked up the camera in a couple of days <laughs> so i'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys a recap um you guys saw us i don't even know what day that was but um we were going through a little bit of things um and what were we doing today? I think we were putting together the Halloween bags for everybody that we're booing. Um, and just a whole lot of stuff was transpiring that day. So we really didn't vlog because our emotions were like all over our face. And I really don't think we would have held it together to vlog that day. So you did see a piece of us um, putting together um, the bags and stuff for different families. So you guys saw that um, prior to that, we did some retail therapy. Now, retail therapy don't help me. <laughs> However, it helps Tawanda. So um, I know I needed to go to Target because Walmart didn't have any boxes um that I needed and I needed to ship off um two promo boxes so Walmart didn't have any boxes or any um bubble like the bubble envelopes or whatever so um we were already on the other side of town because we were getting Rocky ready to go back to school with Trey and where he goes to the vet there's a target over there so I was like well while we're waiting on him, I'll just go and target, get what I need, come out, and he should be ready to go. I should have known not to take Tawanda into Target. <laughs> um, so we did a little bit of retail therapy. So you guys will see a little bit of a haul of that stuff that we got. Um, a lot of the stuff, well, most of the stuff is in this room because it belongs in here. But everything else that we picked up um, that day with uh the stuff that we this stuff that we picked up the other stuff that we picked up in addition to the stuff that i went in there for um majority of that stuff is already put up but i knew that i was going to be cleaning today so i didn't um put anything up so you'll see the stuff that we bought for this room yes we are still buying stuff for this room and nobody's here yet <laughs> But, um, you guys will see the stuff that we bought for in here. Um, most likely I'll probably take down some of the stuff that we bought. Um, it's for the littles, but it's like kitchen stuff. So you guys will probably see. I'll probably show that later on. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and give you guys like a recap. Like I said, we did some re retail therapy that day. Um, we were getting Rocky ready to go back to school the next day. So... Trey's um, school has a family and friends weekend. It's normally around the same time as homecoming, but this year they did the fan friends and family day, the friends and family weekend this past weekend, and then this weekend coming will be their homecoming. So they did two different events this year. So for the um, friends and family day, I think I told you guys in that blog, but you did you guys didn't see see me anymore pick up the camera that day but um for friends and family day it's for basically the college kids that are there now the alumni and their parents and um high school seniors that may be interested in the school they come out and they tour and while they're touring you know they tour the whole campus um they break for lunch you know they have the most amazing lunch <laughs> 
not even I like their wraps are just like off the chain <laughs> um so they break for lunch and they do a few more activities after lunch and then they give you free football tickets for whatever game that the college is playing that day so um of course we didn't have anybody to tour because Jaden has toured every year since Trey has been there um and he really didn't want to tour this year so um it wasn't that I don't well he really didn't want to tour this year and then on top of already having um like a football scrimmage or something like that so he wasn't going um but we knew that we had to go because we were taking Rocky back for one and for two we had to do Trey's grocery shopping um which we really just did we ordered his stuff online and just did a pickup time for it so we were supposed to leave well we really didn't have a set time to leave um yeah we really didn't have a set time to leave and i had already told um i had already told babe that i was not doing all that walking so if she wanted to be there early you know to walk with trey or whatever i would have stayed in his apartment and did whatever work i needed to do because i was not gonna be doing that walk yet <laughs> um that campus is huge and every every year that we tour i'm always in uh, yeah i'm out of shape but it's no reason for me to tour the school because we've toured every year so this was just that year that i was just not going to um so we really didn't have a set time to be in spartanburg so i think we left here we got up that morning saturday morning we got up at i think we got up at seven because um we had to go get the truck that we were borrowing um the i don't know if you guys we've we talked about the jacksons they have three third row trucks then their son has a truck and they have like this um corolla or something that's just you know if just one person is going grocery shopping so one of their third rows we always use <laughs> when we have to go out of town just because our little car child every time we get in the car we say we need a third row <laughs> so um we went to go pick up the truck because all of the kids had soccer all of their kids play um traveling soccer so all of them had games they all play for like it's not the same team but i guess it's for the same organization and um they play in the same they play on the same field they just play in different areas of the field so all of them had games that day and they were leaving out i think at 10 that morning to get to where they needed to be so we got up at um 7 30 to um go pick up the truck and then come back get dressed get rocky ready gas up well we, we gassed up before we came home um get rocky ready i did not pick out our clothes the night before or the morning or the morning of when we got up i picked out our clothes while she was walking rocky um so yeah we picked up the truck um loaded everything from here that needed to go because we had to get trey some dinner jackets we had to get rocky some stuff like food and treats and all of that stuff um we got him a new blanket because if you guys have not noticed every blanket or if you haven't heard us say every blanket that we put on our chair the type of material that that those blankets are the dogs think that every blanket we put on the chair is for them so we had to get them get rocky a new blanket um and i think that was about it that we had to take there oh and trey said that their their house is decorating for fall to be in a fall competition now the boys that he lived with could care less about that it's more so trey than anybody else so we had to go um pick up some stuff for that some fall decorations for that and that was the majority of the stuff that we were taking in the truck and then once we got in spartanburg we went to walmart to pick up his groceries and then we got to his dorm now you already know i already told you guys it was friends and family weekend so there was basically zero to no parking um we did find a spot 
well he told us that we could park we could come up to where his actual house was or apartment whatever you want to call it but um they had locked that off so we couldn't use that route so we did find a park um it was fairly close to where he's living so um we got his groceries out and his one of his roommates mother was down so she came and helped us um take the groceries in so it could just be like one trip so we did not well i did not pick up the camera um once we got in Spartanburg, it was just too much going on so um as far as like putting up groceries cleaning and all of this other stuff so i did not pick up the camera um once we got there but trey did perform i'm not sure um if I'll insert those clips, I might, I don't know, because of the way that I filmed it. I didn't film it as if I was filming for our channel. I just filmed it just to have, you know, um, because Tawanda is always telling me to record like we don't have the same phone. <laughs> so I just recorded just so, you know, we would have it way down the line. Um, so I don't know if I will insert or not for the simple fact that it's going to be off with the way that I filmed it um but yeah we stayed in Spartanburg till about um I think we stayed till about 6 45 7 and it's an hour and a half drive so we stayed till about 6 45 7 o'clock um we left his dorm well his apartment or whatever we gassed up again and got food because we had not eaten all day um we just got like a little snack on the way there because I thought we thought we was going to be there in time enough to eat, but we weren't. Um, so, yeah, so we gassed up to come home, got food. And on the way in, we did pick up baby girl. So, we had her Saturday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. And we took her back this morning. Um, Y'all, that little baby sleeps so horrible. And she co-sleeps with her parents so we can't put her in like a bassinet a playpen or nothing like that for her to sleep by herself because she will not sleep by herself she will sleep like if she falls asleep and we lay her down she might stay asleep for like five minutes and then she'll notice that nothing is next to her it don't matter the type of blanket it don't matter um even the little warmy things that we bought, that's not working now. So, she has to sleep in the bed with us. So, when we sleep in the bed with her, I sleep to the foot. I already sleep to the foot. But, I sleep to the foot now. Well, especially when she's there. And then Wanda will sleep to the head with her. Because she likes to snuggle. But, I just sleep to the foot. So, my foot would, like, guard my side of the bed. Because she wiggles and tosses and turns the whole night. So, um, when we took her back this morning, we ran a couple of errands and then we came back, we did, um, ouch, we did some work for our businesses and we ate breakfast, no, we ate lunch and we took a nap. Now the nap was only supposed to be like an hour and a half. Y'all, we slept the entire day. When we got back in this house, we got in here, um... I would say we got here about 12.30. We ate in about, I would say about 1.45, 2 o'clock. I think it was 2 o'clock because I was getting ready to watch Divorce Court. But I ended up falling asleep. I looked at my clock at 3.37. And when I got up again, it was 6 o'clock. <laughs> um, so, yeah, not much got done today. I feel like when we have baby girl, it takes a week or so to recover and by the time that we really recover we get her again <laughs> so um we're supposed to be getting her again next week because it's her mother's birthday um she's having an early birthday get together so we'll get her again next week and i think after that we probably won't get her again until around her birthday um when we have our own little party for her but yeah um that is enough rambling for right now but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the haul from 
the previous day because they did not show y'all um and don't mind our living room pillows and blanket that's in here um i've already told you guys that when rocky is here and him and stormy are together we can't leave the pillows on the chair because stormy will knock them down and rocky will sleep on the pillows on the floor and she'll sleep on the pillows on the chair so to just avoid my blood pressure going up <laughs> i just stored them in here so now that he is gone um i can put them back on the chair i just have to um put them on the top when we leave out and leave stormy here by herself but other than that they will be on the chair but yeah let me go ahead and show you guys this target haul and then um the next few clips with the exception of me being in the laundry room and i think the boys bathroom um it will kind of be dark because i am going to go ahead and start cleaning um doing my cleaning for the morning because once Tawanda gets on to work i want to go ahead and be working on um our youtube videos for the next week um and have that out of the way so i won't be stressed out come the end of the week <laughs> um and then i do have quite a few bit of things to do off of my my weekly to-do list i have quite a few phone calls to make this morning um while she's working so and i think we have like two errands to run once she gets off or when she takes her lunch break so i really want to have majority of the cleaning portion of it done um before she really gets in get started with her day um i have about i have about an hour and a half before she gets up and i don't have to i don't have to brew her any coffee because we got starbucks coffee yesterday um that we're supposed to drink today to keep busy but we ended up sleeping today so um her i don't have to brew any coffee because she has her starbucks coffee so when she gets up i can just take that in um she's not really a breakfast person so it's no need to cook breakfast because nobody's here to eat it <laughs> um but yeah so you guys will see this haul and then you kind of see me go ahead and start with the cleaning but I, I said all of that to say that i apologize for the darkness um yeah it is like almost five o'clock in the morning so i'm really not going to turn on all the lights to wake her wake her up earlier than what she needs to be woken up so let's go ahead and show you guys this haul right quick so the stuff that we got is from the um christian robinson selection from target so this stuff is really um i need to get off my knees y'all <laughs> i know y'all heard that cracking sorry but um some of the, this stuff is just to like switch over um you guys know that fall is our favorite season um i really don't know if we're really gonna switch over right now because it's no use because of what the set that we have on the bed nobody has slept in it um because we have not had any children yet so i don't really think it's a use to switch out the sheets yet but like i guess once it gets closer to winter and all of that stuff we'll switch over um so we did have two throws and it's like it is coming off orange and like a off-white it's supposed to look like the sun yeah that's how it looks so we got two of those oops <laughs> of course i would knock it down hold on y'all and then we got this comforter um the target that we went to of course only had one so we need to go to another target and see if they have any more um but they for some reason they're putting all his stuff on clearance i'm not sure why but this the ticket says that it's twenty four fifty, but when we got to the register it rang up for ten dollars so we're definitely going to go to another target and see if they have another comforter because that's only one um <clears throat> then we got these two sheet sets um i'm i'm thinking it's supposed to have this little person on it 
and some other things but that's how that is we got two of those the ticket says fourteen dollars but when we rang them up it was six dollars so that was a steal and the same for this one now i really wanted this set because it has like the different kids on it um well since these are the same thing so it might not have i think this might just be polka dots on this one i said it was supposed to have that but it might just be polka dots but this one it has just like you know just everybody of different children of every race you know every race and color and stuff like that um they only had one so we got the one that they had of course like i said it, it the ticket says 14 but it rang up six um the throw pillows those right there they were supposed to be 20 they weren't they don't have a clearance ticker on them but once you, once you scan like on a target app it tells you how much it's supposed to be so it rang up for 20 but when we got to the register it was actually nine something nine and some change um but like i said this the ticket price on this was 14 it rang up six and then this also rang up six dollars it's a sign that says you matter um i don't think we're we are going to hang it up now i think we're probably going to hang it up right there or yeah we're probably going to hang it up right there because it matches the other sign that's on this side of the door um that says everybody belongs some type of some it says some type of saying so it goes with that um so we might put it right there it doesn't throw off the room in any type of way i don't think like i said because it does match the other picture that's as soon as you um walk in so that's the little miniature hall like i said um i might show you guys some of the other stuff once it starts to get like daylight outside so i'm really not turning on any lights and once bay is up so i'm really not disturbing her um but yeah let's go ahead and get to cleaning guys <laughs> see you guys in the next clip